Welcome back to my channel again. Kumusta tayong lahat? So, anito na tayo sa offline EBIR forms package V7.6.1. Ito na po yung pinakabagong version. Just last March, uh, naglabas CBIR ng V7.6. Ngayon naman, 7.6.1. May one outlet. So, bago kayo mag-file ng mga returns ninyo, i-download nyo muna yung pinaka-latest. Okay, so, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-fill up nito, nakapag-fill out, so, i-fill up nyo muna tong profile, yung tax identification number, RDO code, line of business, uh, dito i-fill up nyo lang yung required nila. Lahat. Pero kung na-fill up pa nyo naman to, pangalawang open nyo na to, just in your tax identification number, saka RDO code, yan. Lalabas, magpa-pop up na lahat yung uh, information nyo. So, dito tayo sa list of BIR forms. Uh, please select. Select natin. Ang ika-file natin ngayon ay ang 2551Q second quarter. So, ito. BIR form 2551Q V2018 das quarterly percentage tax. Fill up lang natin. Ayan, sabi dito, e offline EBIR forms package V7.6.1. Okay lang natin to. Okay, andito na tayo sa form. Uh, BIR form 2551Q, January 2018. Enhance. Yan, page 1. Dapat 2018, ha? Baka maligaw kayo, doon kayo sa lumang form. Ito yung pinakabago. Okay, so sa number 1, click natin calendar. Calendar, it means pag ang business nyo ay nag-start ng January. Kasi may mga business na hindi nag-start nag ng January, like school. Pag hindi nag-start ng January, i-click nyo fiscal. E since January tayo nag-start, so calendar. So, sa number 2 year ended. So, dapat December. Okay, naka-automatic na siya. Tapos 2020. Then, number 3, second quarter tayo ngayon. Then, number 4, Amended return, inulit mo ba daw to sa second quarter? So, kung first time pa, so hindi ito amended. Pag inulit mo na, oh, di, ilagay mo yes. So, number 5, number of sheets. Pag may attach tayo dito, lagay natin kung ilang attachment. Pag wala naman, zero lang. So, sa part 1, background information. Sa number 6, TIN. May nakalagay na since na-fill up pa natin yung profile kanina. Yung sa form. Nag-automatic na siya dito. So, diretso tayo sa number 12. Are you availing of tax relief under special law? Bar International Law Treaty. Number 12. No. Nakalagay no. No lang natin yan. So, number 13, only for individual taxpayers whose sales receipts are subject to percentage tax under Section 116 of the Tax Code Amended. What income tax rates are you availing? Choose one. Okay, to be filled out only on the initial quarter of the taxable year. So, sabi dito, to be filled out only. So, since na... Last quarter, ang kiniklik natin dito ay graduated kasi graduated yung pinili natin. So, graduated ang ilalagay natin dito. Ikiklik. Kasi yun na yung pinili natin first quarter. Okay. So, sa number 14, total tax due. So, may naka-blue dito. Pag i-click natin to, sabi dito from schedule 1, item 7. Okay, so sa part 2, total tax payable. Number 14, total tax due. 
So, i-click natin tong naka-blue. From schedule 1, item 7. Ayan. So, we are redirected to page 2. Okay. So, sa schedule 1, computation of tax. Uh, sa number 1, alphanumeric tax code under sa ATC, alphanumeric tax code. Uh, I-click natin dito yung PT010. So, ang meaning ng PT010, person exempt from VAT under section 109, BB section 116, tax rate 3%. Okay? So, taxable amount. So, ang hinihingi dito is, magkano ba yung uh, sales natin sa second quarter? So, anong mga buwan yun? Uh, April, May, June. So, i-compute nyo yung sales nyo. Example, ang sales nyo this quarter, uh, nag-total siya ng 100,000. Example lang to guys, 100,000. Okay? Yan. So, nag-automatic dito, tax due 3,000. Kasi 3% ng 100,000 is 3,000. So, ito yung i-remit natin ngayon. Kung 100,000 yung total ng sales new from April, May, June, second quarter. Okay? So, sa, num uh, sa number 7, total tax due sum of item 1 to 6. Yeah, item 1 to 6. So, itong sa number 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wala yan. Uh, to part 2, item 14. So, i-click natin itong naka-violet. So, ibinalik tayo sa first page. Uh, tingnan nyo guys, total tax due from schedule 1, item 7, may nakalagay na na 3,000. So, number 14, total tax due from schedule 1, item 7. So, ito yung sa page 2 na nag-automatic na amount na 3,000. Sa number 15, credit creditable percentage tax withheld per BIR form number 2307. So, magkakaroon lang naman kayo nito. Usually, ang nagbibigay nito, pag meron lang kayong nagiging katransaksyon na government your or LGUs. Yan yan. Pag nagkakaroon kayo ng mga project na ang bumibili ay si government. Kasi sila lang yung uh, allowed na mag-withhold ng business tax. So, kung private naman lahat yung katransaksyon nyo this quarter, so wala kayong pangbawas dito, wala kayong creditable percentage tax withheld. Okay, so number 16, tax paid in return previously filed if this is amended. So, kung amended naman to, so, mayroon kayong ilalagay dito. Pero kung first time yung mag-file nito, so, wala zero yan. So, number 17, other tax credit payment kung meron. Okay, kung wala, zero yan. So, number 18, total tax credit payment. So, itotal nyo lahat from 15, 16, 17. O, kung magkano yung kung meron, so, dito zero. So, number 19, tax still payable. So, over bar over payment, item 14 less than 18. So, tingnan nyo dito sa item 14, tax, total tax due. Uh, ang nandito is 3,000 less ng uh, item 18. So, 3,000 minus zero. So, 3,000 pa rin. Kasi zero. Wala tayong binabawas. So, number, uh, under sa 19, add penalties. Pag mayroong penalties. Uh, surcharge, zero. Ze interest, zero. Compromise, zero. Zero lahat yan kasi wala tayong mga penalties. 23 penalties, sum of item 20 to 22. So, 
Add natin item 20, 2022 kung 0. So, 0 yung total. Number 24, total amount payable over payment. Sum of item 19 and 23. So, 19, 3,000. Number 23, 0. So, 3,000. So, ito yung ibabayad natin sa BIR. Ito yung i-remit natin. So, sa if over payment, mark only one box. May box dalawa dito. To be refunded or to be issued a tax, uh, tax credit certificate. Pag overpayment. Okay, sa magbabayad over the counter, uh, kailangan yung fill up to. Um, for individual, ito, signature over printed name of taxpayer, authorized representative or tax agent. Pangalan, tapos pirmahan sa taas. The same with sa non-individual. Okay. So, sa part 3, details of payment. Uh, kung cheque yung ibabayad ninyo, lagay mo lang yung anong banko ng cheque. Number, tapos yung date, tapos yung amount. Yung cash din, the amount na lang direct. So. Okay, so... Okay na to. So, pwede na natin tong i-validate. Click natin yung validate sa baba. Tingnan natin kung uh, wala, nang, wala na tayong na-skipan na i-fill up. Click na natin validate. Sabi dito, validation successful. Click on edit if you wish to modify or uh, modify your entries. So, okay na to. So, okay. Hindi na natin baguhin yon So, isave muna natin. Okay. Then, submit na natin for final copy. Click na natin to. So, please ensure that you have internet access and a valid email address is indicated in your tax return. So, are you sure you want to submit? Okay na natin to. Yan. Nasubmit na natin. Yun na yun. So, basahin natin dito. EBIR Forms Terms of Service Agreement. TUSA. Thank you for using BIR Forms. By clicking Agree, you confirm that you have read, understood, and agreed to the TUSA. The full EBIR Forms TUSA can be accessed here. So, okay natin to. Yan. Submit successful. Yan. Okay, a notification will be sent to your email. Then please ensure that said email address is correct. Then check your inbox, including your spam folder in the next few minutes for the email. Print or save the email as evidence of e-filed return. My note, there will be some delays on email sending of confirmation. Please be with us. So, okay lang natin to. Hintay na lang natin ng konti ang confirmation ni BIR. So, you can now pay electronically through the following channels. Ito yung A -Pay, electronic payment. So, click natin to para alam natin kung ano yung mga electronic payment nila. Okay, and dito na tayo sa website ni DIR sa electronic payment kung saan tayo pwedeng magbayad electronically. So, you can check this out. Land Bank, Banknet, Union Bank, Pisonet, Globe Gcash, Paymaya. Okay. So, ako pag may binabayaran, I'm using Globe Gcash. Okay, madali lang. Uh, I have a separate video kung paano magpa-load or magpa-cash in sa GCash. Uh, punta lang kayo sa 7-Eleven. Tapos may kiosk sila doon. Yung parang machine nila na-click. Doon lang kayo. Uh, madali lang. Tapos doon kayo magpa-load. Kung magkano yung babayaran nyo sa, sa BIR, pwede kayong magpa-cash in doon. Tapos doon na kayo magbayad sa through your cell phone. Pag na-install nyo na yung Gcash. Okay. Okay, nag-reply na si BIR. Walang 
20 minutes. Okay. Less than 20 minutes, nag-reply na siya kaagad. So, ito. Babasahin natin. EBR forms does no reply. Click natin to. Yan. So, ito yung hitsura ng reply ni BIR. Tax return receipt confirmation. So, ang gagawin natin dito, i-print, i-print natin, tatlo. Kasi pag nagbabayad tayo over the counter sa banko, hihingi ang banko nito, isang kopya, together with the form 2551Q. Yan lang. Pero kung sa online naman kayo nagbayad, example, Gcash, uh, print pa rin natin for our file for future use. Pero kung may computer kayo, uh, pwede rin i-save nyo lang. Pero much better i-print nyo. May hard copy kayo. Yan yan. So, yan guys. So, uh, thank you for watching. And see you in my next video. Okay, bye!